I remember the exact date just because the date happened. It was December 12th of 2012, so 12, 12, 12. And uh, we was playing a basketball game in Houston, Texas at, at Rice. And someone just came into my leg and I went one way and he and my leg went the other way. Definitely was a, probably some of the worst pain I felt. That, that wasn't a good pain at all. But after that, thankfully, uh, I was in New York at the time. So um, I got to go to some good, good surgeons there. And uh, they just used my, my patella tendon and then uh, re repaired my ACL there for, for the first time when, when it happened. First year here, about midway through the season, you're out a month. And again, I was sliding through and just foot kind of got stuck on the floor. And for the fourth time, it happened again. And after four, just kind of like, what, what do I do now? Like, but um, th and thankfully, the ownership and, and the poor organization was great. with Dr. Bob Litchfield and you know, I heard he's one of the best and so far from my comeback and recovery he's definitely shown he did a very very good job. It starts with the, with the recovery and you know, everything that you would put in if you were playing on the, on the floor that goes into the your rehab and playing and all that but then all the energy that you channel into that goes right back to the channel and then you go out back on, on the court when you're there because you've had it before but you would had to just take it away from on the court things to off the court with recovery first. And there was just something always in me like knowing I wasn't done playing basketball. Like I still, there's, I still have more, I still want to go. So I, I think me knowing that I still wanted to play and that's all I really wanted to do, that was a help for me to stay focused and stay, keep going in every day even when I didn't want to or you know, coming into to the gym after rehab, shooting shots, things like that, if I didn't want to do that. But I, I think if you really want to do something you have your mind and your heart focused on it, then I think that's something that will really help you stay focused throughout the recovery process if you do get injured. One thing that I think that helped me out also is having my teammates here. They would you know days that I had down days, days that weren't bad, like, oh, no, I don't want to do this anymore, I'm done. You know, I had teammates in my house that always, you know, Keep, 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 keep going, you're fine, you're almost there, this and that. So I think my teammates on this team, very family-oriented family team also too. So I think just have, having them around definitely, having a good support system, whether it's friends, family, anything like that, I think it's very important to have. And, uh, I was able to come back in th this year and come back and play, do well, and we were playing, we are win the championship again. So it's definitely a, uh, a good ending to, to all, all that. So. Now I'm back to the phase, I'm healthy, I'm healed again, I made it through. Now it's time to keep, stay, stay, I stay on the court now. Only precaution that I take is try not to think about it. That, that's it. Just go out there, play like you normally would, like nothing happened. And I think you do that and not focus on that, more focus on the game and playing. Then you'll take, take care of yourself and it'll do, do what it's supposed to do. When you do something that you love to do, whether it's, you know, being a lawyer, athlete, musician, you do, you know, teach or anything, if you get taken away from that and you really want to do it, it's it's something you're not all the way happy as, as you would as you would be. So now being able to be back on the court, playing with my teammates, not sitting there having to watch, it's weightlifted. It's it's, it's amazing.